All right, I'm mostly concerned about the spines that are gonna get me first. These on the back, then the pelvic fins underneath, then the anal fins. So I like these shears here because you can use any shears, but these give you a little bit more room between the fins. So some of the things I'm gonna work, work on is making sure that these spines fall away from me. So any glove will do, because these aren't venomous up here, it's just to keep the fish from falling out. I'm gonna rotate the fish away from me so that as I cut these spines off, they're gonna fall away. So I'm simply gonna start back here at the back, as close down to the base of the skin of the fish as I can, and just trim these off. And they fall into a nice little sort of a pile there. I'm gonna take these as I do them, put them into a nice little arrangement there so it'll make it easier to clean up later on. Now I'm gonna to continue to roll the fish over to the bottom side now. I'm gonna go for one pelvic fin, usually the one on my side first, then the other pelvic fin, that one's gone. Add them neatly to my pile over here. Then while I'm still on the bottom here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the anal fin the same way from back to front, as close down as I can. All right, add that neatly to my pile there. Now this fish is perfectly safe right now, but my habit just to make sure I don't do anything silly, if we leave the wrong ones on, I go ahead and cut these pectoral fins off. Now there's no question that I have all the venomous spines off of there. Perfectly safe fish, you can treat it like any other fish right now.